Hey everybody, welcome to a new playthrough on my channel. We're gonna do some Diddy Kong Racing, a game that I've actually never beat before. Even when I was growing up, never owned it. Always had to rent it from Blockbuster, Rogers, all those good video game rental places. And now it's time to get some redemption and actually beat this game. So for everyone that doesn't know, this is pretty much like Mario Kart, except Diddy and his friends. A lot of these characters, I'm not too sure, other than this is definitely one of the the Crocs and Donkey Kong, and then Banjo as well. These are all like, uh, since Rare, the company Rare, made uh, this game, there's, these are all probably characters that uh, pertain to some of their previous games. That's why Banjo's there. Every episode I'll probably switch drivers, you don't have to stick with one driver, so... We'll start off with uh, Turtle Dude. He's, he's staring into my soul. Caution, you need a controller pack if you want to save ghost times, but we're not really too concerned about that. I erased all the files, now it's time to go. Let's, uh... How do I change this, bruh? Let's go with the straight up Dan. There we go. All set. Yeah, this game's a little bit like Mario Kart, but you also get to use boats and airplanes too. Not only carts, so a lot of variety. Some maps are more water-based and you can only use a boat or an airplane. Some you can use all three. So stay tuned and find out what excitement is going to be before us. I do not know, I only remember a little bit. I don't really remember the main story other than that pig is evil and uh, this guy, the genie guy, is going to help us out. That's uh, all I really know. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dan Scrushin. I play amazing video games from our past and relive them together. I'm the genie of the island. Okay. I'm here to help you, good luck. But you didn't help me, you just said good luck, bro. Whatever. All right, so we drive around, it's like an open world at the moment. Don't bump into this guy, because then it prompts that. You can change vehicle, you can return. Get out of my way. All right, so if you remember like Crash Team Racing, this is what it kind of reminds me of, like an open world. You gotta find the certain maps. You have to unlock levels by uh, winning races. So let's first go up here. I'm pretty sure this is probably the first one. It has one balloon. We gotta find those balloons to open these doors. I think you get balloon every time you beat a race too. So as you see in this area, we got, I don't know where this is leading. Probably a secret of some sort. Let's check it out. Then to the trophy race, you must complete the tasks from this world. Okay. How do I reverse? Press B. Okay. That's horn. So B is like break and turn pretty much. Cool. I'm just testing out some buttons. Let's do the first one, Ancient Lake. And see how we get on. Alright. So you also gotta collect those bananas to help upgrade your weapons, I'm pretty sure. You get random balloons that give you weapons, and if you get the same type of weapon, I think it upgrades. We'll, we'll see. We'll learn all the mechanics. So I think red is offensive weapons, and uh, blue is defensive, maybe? So it's going to be pretty straightforward to begin with. This game's rating is actually uh, K to A, which means kids to adults. So. Definitely later on, it's going to be a lot more difficult. I wonder what happens if I keep upgrading it. No, nope. okay, this is the maximum. You fire weapons with the Z button. We're definitely not going to have much uh, trouble until the first boss. Like I said, the game will be getting harder. And I want to just be happy and play a video game for once, where most of the time you play video games and it's all stressful. 
This one's all fun in games. Look out for the big dino. Sweet. That was a very easy race. So I'd always get to a certain spot as a kid because you only got so, so many days playing the game. And then you have to return it, unfortunately. So I'm going to accomplish one of my childhood goals. Hook up a balloon, bro. Thanks, man. Just one? Yeah, you're going to get one per race, I'm assuming. So You do get to a lot more difficult ones, though. So we got to get up to five, it looks like. Cool. So we got Fossil Canyon next. Let's go. The first zone is definitely going to teach you more mechanics of anything, more than anything. Oh, I didn't get a boost at the start. Alright, green. What does green do? That's kind of defensive. Put an oil splotch down. If you guys like racing games, then check out my other games that I got in my playlist. I got a bunch. And if you just like car games and madness where you shoot weapons at each other, check out my Twisted Metal playthroughs that are going on. I'm on the third game right now. Power up. So as you can tell, this map is way longer. Bubble, eh? We'll have to learn what all these weapons do. I'm just gonna shoot that backwards, I guess. See what happens. Mr. Turtle seems to be pretty fast. Pretty straightforward, though, this game, so... I'm glad it's something nice and easy. Power up. Let's get another bubble. This one's upgrading four times. Can I do another time? No. Seems like I shot it backwards. There we go. Shoot it backwards again. You can see the mini-map there. Let's press some buttons. We get a speedometer. You get to choose. There's the camera. You can go really zoomed in if you wish. Let's put a spike down instead. I'll probably just use the map more than anything. I wish you could have both. You can honk your horn. What does the blue one do? That's turbo boost, huh? Oh, right into a bomb. <laughs> the bomb that I placed. I know some races require you to finish with a certain amount of bananas. I think those are the boss races. We'll, we'll find out as we go along. These episodes will be around 20-30 minutes each. And we'll continue on throughout the weeks, completing this game. I also play multiple video games at once, so there'll be Twisted Metals and Mario Parties at the end of the month. Mario Party is always fun to do. I play against hard computers. If, you're, if you like Mario Parties, we, we played through the first and almost done the second one. And then we'll move on to the third game. I like to progress kind of in chronological order. Sometimes it's, uh, you can't help but do something other than, like, following the order. But if anything, I'll always, like, come back and uh, finish it off. Oh, definitely don't want to go in the water. Uh, bro. This is not, it's not a good start. I don't know how I could fail this, this hard. But I am. Okay. We can make it more interesting now. That's what I was doing. Hey, what does this do? Shield? Cool. Rocket. Okay, we gotta really pick up the pace here. There's no way to jump, is there? Like Mario Kart style? I did the same thing, but this time I actually made it back up. Alright, so that rocket isn't a homing rocket. I kind of thought it would be. Third lap, we gotta go. You can see the number up ahead too. So we're, we're drawn near. Get the boost. The 
This will probably be a redo because of my bad driving at the start. Ah, oh, poo. My bad. Uh, try again, please. Alright, here we go. Which one was this called again? I forget. Anyways, let's uh, gather some bananas. Some weapons if we can, like this boost. Now that we got a little practice run in, we shouldn't lose. We shouldn't lose to begin with, but sometimes you just can't help it. Alright, this is probably going to be a longer shield, I'm assuming. We actually almost came back and won it. Most of the time I will edit out failed attempts, but since it's a quick race, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm not going to lie to you guys that I failed that one miserably. I'm only human, okay? There's a hidden boost there. Gotta get used to that. Because you definitely have to come back on these races and uh, do a harder version. Because if you look, for example, up there, you can do this race with airplanes, so... I wonder how that mechanic's gonna work, but we'll figure it out as it goes along. do a cool like donut if you hold B and A at the same time and turn. Yeah. Now that's how it should have been. If you have other nostalgic games that you would like to see me play in the future, definitely let me know. I own Nintendo and PlayStation. Nintendo 64. Also I have some Super Nintendo games and I also have some Sega games, so Maybe I have it. So once the balloon is full and there's no number, then we're all good. Uh, where's the next one? Over here? What? Probably not. Can't do the trophy race just yet. Oh, what's this direction? Oh, and that leads to like a door. Not really totally sure. What happens if we go here? Fire Mountain Challenge. Enter the door, you must find the key. Okay. You didn't have to, like, spin me out like that, though. Huh. So maybe you gotta come back, because we need another balloon. Interesting. Let's go look around, I guess. Bro. Isn't that the exit door? Oh, there you go. Maybe if I read the big exit sign on the door, that would have helped. Alright, let's see what else we can get up to then. We might, must have to come back. That's okay, let's go look around and see what we can find. Uh... What's over here? Lighthouse. Uh, it doesn't open yet. What about over here? You can change your vehicle to uh, a boat and an airplane, which I probably should have done. So 10 for this guy. Maybe there's a hidden balloon I have to find, like that one. I'm glad I'm not drowning. I kind of feel like a shark is going to come after me. Oh, there's a hidden balloon right here, and that's all we need to get the fifth one. There we go. Okay, now we can head back. And finish off that world. I didn't realize you had to drive around and get these small balloons first. There must be more hidden ones around the map. Let's check behind here. I'm sure it's not going to be. I'm assuming 99 is going to be the maximum amount of balloons that you can acquire. You never know though. There's only one difficulty if you're curious. Only only this one. So what's this sign about? 
not too sure. A bunch of question marks. I'm just as confused as the sign is. Okay, now let's go back up the hill. Look out, genie. I will be playing through uh, Spyro pretty soon as well. And that will be the re reignited trilogy of all three three games. The, uh, the intro ones, I suppose. I mean, not the intro, like the original ones. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments section down below. We'll do some actual story game. Oh, we're doing a plane. We're flying. Alright, let's see how this goes. So you kind of... Oh, look out for that. It handles really different than I expected or remember. It kind of brings you up. Does B do anything? Doesn't look like it. I used to love how there was like dinosaurs and stuff in this map or in the first couple maps because I was a big dinosaur kid growing up. Look out, pterodactyl. Woo. There's a banana on that side. Can't turn any easier. Oh, you kind of can with B. You kind of do a break thing. Let's grab more boost. Aw, that dinosaur looks so sad. Final lap. Final lap. Oop. Whoops. Someone's getting close. Can't let them beat us. Like I said in the in the beginning of the episode, it's going to be pretty straightforward the first couple of races, so I'm not going to have much of a challenge just yet. But the first boss is coming up soon. We we'll, should be able to do that in this episode, and uh, you guys will get to see a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah! Our first airplane one. Thank you, Mr. Genie. Okay, it's leading me towards this. Or literally just taking me there. That's fine. This is probably where you get the key from. So let's do that. Yeah! Okay. go up the mountain oh what you cheater now can I damage you oh well normally yes pretty sure I was supposed to hit him that boulder really looked like it was gonna hurt me if you just stay on the inside here you should be able to beat him anyways without hitting him Good old racing tip. Stay by the edge. Now I'm waiting to use this boost in case I can get an upgraded version. And I'll use it right at the end. Spiral Mountain this is. There we go. I don't want to fly off the edge too, so. We're getting close. Oh. That boulder, though. Move your big behind. Oh, I gotta use it now. Wow, right at the end. You pretty much gotta stick with him, and then he loses gas. I thought I was gonna lose that thing. Easy enough. Hook up the key, bro. 
Well done, kid. Oh. Ah, see, now we're getting somewhere with the difficulty. So you gotta redo the races. Try pressing break when skidding. Okay, thanks bro. Thanks for your tip. So now it's gonna be harder. So, there you have it. That's pretty much how this game's gonna work. You're gonna beat it and it's gonna upgrade in difficulty and you gotta continue on. So next episode we'll do the next five. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment. These will be coming out two, three times in a week, so definitely stay tuned. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye.